Hey, what's up everybody? I got a new trailer for my kayak and potentially, hopefully multi-purpose is what I'd like to use this for. So I'd like to be able to use it to haul stuff if I need to, but mainly for my kayak. So if y'all got any ideas, throw them out here to me. Let me know what you've done. If you've done one like this, if you've seen one like this, just so you know, this used to be a camper that the guy got it from. He They tore it off because the camper was in real bad shape and they were gonna use it for other stuff, hauling their lawnmower and everything. So. I want to do something different with it. All right, so it's a five by eight. I haven't done exact measurements on it to find out, you know, where the eight is and where the five is. But let me come back around. The full shot. They cut off the sides near where the wheels are and up and on the front here, and I'll show you that. Like I said, those probably used to extend all the way out. All the welds still look good. The tires, I'm going to have to replace them. I mean, they did good coming back from where I got it from. About probably a 30-minute drive to where I was. But obviously, lugs are rust, lug nuts are rusted, bolts. I'm thinking about changing out the whole thing and making it a five-bolt and getting a little bit bigger tire because I can do whatever I want, basically, you know, to an extent as far as the height. Um, got a little bit of space in between there and I could always take that off if I wanted to I guess I could cut it I do like that it has springs built into it it rode pretty good even with nothing on it bounced a couple of times when I hit a couple of holes but um, I'll get measurements on it and I'll add the measurements somewhere you know how it is somewhere up in here I'll put the measurements the, the true measurements all the way to the outside and all the way up to the front I mean, the rims don't look bad. It's just I would like to have a bigger tire on it so that I can take it on the interstate better. These are, I think it was a K rating, which I think means like 68 miles an hour, which isn't bad. But you can kind of see the, there's some cracks in the tread. And I don't feel good about obviously taking that and driving it anywhere until then. Until I get the tires replaced, I probably won't be driving it anywhere at all because I don't have a spare. And just want to show you this is missing, I believe. I didn't even look at that when I saw it, but I don't think that's in there. <laughs> it would be sticking part of the way out the wheel wood, so I can replace that though pretty easily. The wiring they cut off. Um, I already bought a wiring kit for the lights kit that'll go back to the back. Hopefully, I can run it through. I don't know if that'll work or not, but at least there's plenty of little holes here and there that I can run the wiring through my, you know, brake lights and turn signals and stuff. Most likely, I guess I can put them back here. I don't know. I'll have to look at regulations to see. Let me get measurements and then we'll, you guys let me know what you think. Getting ready to do a little work on the trailer I just got. Probably won't be a lot of work today. I've got a couple hours, so a little work done. See if I can get some stuff scraped off, get it ready to be prepped and painted let's get it we gotta gotta measure everything first before I start sanding everything down so I'm gonna measure real quick I do have some of the measurements already and I got my little drawing not to scale well not exactly it's close safety first All right, well, I got some of it ground down. I think I'm going to have to use my grinder on some of this. I was hoping I'd be able to get with that wire brush, but I mean, you can see it. It's kind of dark and cloudy today. Well, at least right now it is. I got a lot of it off. Um, I'll never be able to get probably all of it off because there's spots I'm just not going to be able to get to probably. I'll just get the worst. And um, I even cleaned off the axle a little bit with the simple green stuff. You can kind of see the difference maybe. Between that and that I can actually read some numbers that are on there for some reason in my capacity 2200 pounds um, so there's just different spots where there's this kind of stuff is more surface rust than anything else so I think I'm gonna have to use a grinder to speed up the process and I don't have to figure something else out too I think so see what I can do I got the back part done pretty good I'm gonna go and hit it just to see what it'll look like this won't be probably like a final coat. I just want to get a spray on it, see what it's going to do. 
Let's get it. Got to get the handle. Like I said, it's a little overcast. It's not that late at night, actually. So, first coat on. I'll shoot some other video when the when we've got better light. Actually, it looks pretty good. It's pretty dark over on this side, so I'm not going to get a good shot. But I mean, you've got that, and you can see where I stopped. I haven't done any of this yet, or any of this. I want to get that kind of sanded down good. I went and hit the top of this leaf springs just to I sanded this one down kind of got a little tight fit in there so I have to get another cut on that but so that's gonna be it for today um, hopefully tomorrow I'll be able to get more done on it probably gonna get something else to maybe help me um, sand it down I may get some because some of it's surface rust so I may get some Brillo pads or steel wool something like that and see if I can get that stuff cleaned off and wiped down good and then put a coat on it. All right, I'll catch y'all later. I'm out here again today and gonna work on the trailer for a little bit. This is Father's Day. Happy Father's Day, everybody. This is, um, if you're a father, if you're a daddy, if you're a baby daddy, happy Father's Day. I'm gonna try to get the wheels off today before I finish um, sanding off the, all the kind of surface rust and some of the other rust that's on the trailer. So let's get at it. Alright, so I had to go borrow my dad's breaker bar and some sockets because, of course, I can't find them. That was brutal. Now I don't want to see the rest of this. Let me get these off. All right, we just finally got them all off. Probably need to have this jacked up, actually. I didn't think about that. Okay. I'm gonna just pant all over my video, huh? Right. I mean, I'm not hearing anything weird, but I'll try to get this cap off and then see what it looks like underneath. If I had a real screwdriver, it might do this easier. Well, they got grease in them at least. I don't know how good it is, or how long it's been in there. I'll take it out, check the Actually, now if I remember how to do this, I think I think these twist off. Or do they just come out? Huh? There we go. I did my boat trailer. If y'all didn't see that one, I took this off and started to pull them out, and bearings were just falling everywhere. They were. Not good. Let's see what these look like. Well, they're still greased. And they're packed pretty good. 
I don't know if y'all can see that. I'm gonna take this off and see what it looks like underneath. I assume it has back bearings too. Not sure. I'll try to pop this whole thing out. They actually look pretty good. I mean, plenty of grease. I'll probably re grease them, put them back in. Those seem to be greased up real good too. I'm just kind of clean them off a little. Put a little more grease on the front. Back looks good. Clean this off. There's a little rust. I don't know if you can see. A little bit of just some surface rust in there. I think I'm going to just clean those up. Clean up the hub a little and slap this bad boy back on. I'm going to try to sand a little bit. Just without knocking the camera over. It's pretty big and got this Harbor Freight 35 bucks. Warrior. 7 inch variable speed blah 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 just dropped it and broke the little handle so, so I don't have the little hand got another handle I don't want to put on right now well, that's about all I can get off of that I don't feel comfortable getting all in there with this big sander so I may have to do some by hand but most of this is surface rust some of it's a little thicker but I'll wipe it down I'll try to get some of this cleaned off the axle but I think there's only so much I can get with this sander. Mostly I'll use it for this top and everything else. So I think I'm going to jump to that, take the other tire off in a minute, and get after it. Well, I think it's looking pretty good. Got the bottom painted. Wasn't too hard to flip over. axle looks real good it looked really rough before if you remember the pictures I was able to sand most of it down I couldn't get like all the way on this inside edge but it's just gonna have to do but I think it looks pretty good probably gotta get I gotta get some more cans so it took two cans I did most of the top I don't think I did all the top I did most of the top and all the bottom with two cans one coat so it's looking good. Okay, I have my brake pressed. One turn signal on. And both lights are blinking. Alright. Just the brake on, no signals. And I've got... It's so hard to see, it's so bright. But I've got brake lights wired it the way I'm supposed to. Yellow to yellow, brown to brown, green to green, brown to brown. So I don't know why when I turn the turn signal on both start blinking. Again, the other turn signal on, both lights are blinking. Brake is off, turn signals work just fine. And when I turn my lights on, turn signal goes off which is not going to be helpful at night I don't understand why it would do that all right brake light on turn signal on and it still works with the lights on Appreciate the help, Eric Norman. That did it. I almost forgot to start recording, so let's get at it. Okay, so as you saw before, I got everything painted up on the trailer, and <clears throat> I have not changed the wheels out yet. Still working on the cost factor on that. And I've marked off my first section, my first cut to go around the wheels. And I've set it up so that I can still put these fenders, I guess is what you'd call them, put these fenders on. So let's see how it goes. Whew. 
All right, got both boards cut and now to paint. So I'll show you what I've started. Got my first coat on. I did do on one of the boards the other day, I did a spray coating, like an underlining and took a whole can just to do, not even to get one side done of a short board. So I got, I went ahead and bought a gallon and you know what color it's gonna be. It's gonna be gator blue, baby. Gator blue, go gators. It's getting late and getting dark. So let me show you my progress so far. I got two coats on the front, two coats on the back. There we go. And this is the other board that'll go up in the front side in front of this one. I was going to take it all the way out to the end, but I didn't really have a good way to support it going all the way across. So I basically cut it at an angle coming across to there, and that's the way I'm going to leave it. I may add more wood up in the front after I do a trial run basically and see. I've got it set up that I can still set everything halfway on just like I did here so I can add the other piece on getting late though I'm not I just got the second coat on I don't think I'm gonna be able to get it connected tonight and here's what I got for the support so the back will have an angle just got two 45s on there and it'll angle down off the back of the trailer so that I can slide the um, slide the kayak up easier onto those instead of it just being flat at the top and having lifted up Hopefully, I've seen some other guys with the angles on the bottom. It's supposed to make it easier to get it up on top. And then, it's going down. And I think I'm just going to extend it out to here. Which is, it's almost 7 feet, or it's right around 7 feet. And I think that's going to be enough uh, support. Also, I'll be putting the orange <laughs> pool noodles in between. So, there'll be one in between this one and this one. I haven't glued any of this yet and then there'll be a long one in between each of these and then there'll be two short ones on the ends here and then I'll glue it up and then they'll be on forever or you know until they're not hopefully that will give it some extra padding basically what I'm hoping is that it will give it enough bounce so that it's not too rigid that's why I just didn't want to use just plain PVC underneath it I thought it would bang around on it too much um, not that it probably would bother it any, but I just thought that with the the pool noodles would really help it to um, be able to be more padded. I hope I have enough pool noodle. I didn't think about that. These are a certain length. They're about six feet, I think, maybe. Oh, yeah, I should be okay. Because I'll cut a short piece for back here, long piece in the middle, and then a short piece for up front. I should be fine. One on each end, I got two noodles. I just cleaned off the, the wheel covers. I thought about spray painting them, and I still might. I mean, they're kind of a little rough looking. I haven't decided yet, but I may spray paint them black. We'll see. All right, well, that's it for now. Um, I'll have to finish the rest of it in the morning gonna go fishing in the morning I guess I'm going fishing in the afternoon because I got to get this done so I can transport my kayak easily at least you know we'll give it a shot and see what happens all right y'all have a good one this may or may not be the end of this video well it may be the end of this part of the video I'll catch y'all later all right back at it this morning real quick <clears throat> trying to finish off the trailer so I can go fishing See if we can get this done so i got i'm putting my wheel wells on today i'm not going to paint them just going to wait they're they look decent so i'm not going to paint them but i got to staple them from underneath to get them to work right so this is what it'll look like when it's on i put a couple of staples in it just to kind of hold it um i mean i can use bolts and stuff and i may put one or two bolts in it through the top just to help hold it in but i'm going to staple them first and then i'm going to go from there hopefully i can do this without taking it off I may put a couple of staples in it to hold it in place and then flip it. All right, let's get it. Well, I just made a big mistake somehow. 
got a lot of these already drilled. I got them connected. And somehow I just realized that, wait a minute, what is that hanging over the edge? I must have lined it up with that and wasn't looking at the frame because there's the frame sticking out on this side. Hi, Rocky. What you doing? Go get some water. Oh my gosh, that's the biggest stink bug I've ever seen. That thing is huge. Look how big that thing is. Anyway, so now I gotta slide the whole thing over and redrill the metal. Sheesh. Alright. Gonna try to video just a little bit of this. Um got the other the back side on, that was the hardest part, I hope. The next one's gonna be just difficult because I'm gonna have to go and get underneath the trailer to get my bolts in. Because I'm using bolts. All right, let's see how this goes. I already know where I need to drill. If I can reach it. <clears throat> and if this doesn't fall on me, I need to chop the wheels, hang on. And I know that this lines up, I put a spacer, not a spacer, oh, it's hot. I put a um, another strip of plywood underneath here, a small strip, and connected these in to the frame and then this is just going to go into the wood part of the strip that i put in because i didn't have another way to actually it was so tight i only had a little bit of space to be able to get a screw through here or a bolt through there and i didn't want to risk not having enough so i know that it's in between here and here i'm gonna go right about here there we go I'm just going to do one here, one on each end should be plenty. I don't need two necessarily. This is just holding that strip on. So, where's my bolts? Oh, there they are. Those are more for decoration than anything else. I don't know if you all can see these. I'll show you a close up later. I mean, they work as a washer, they're just a more decorative washer. There's a long one on here just in case. They're very difficult to pick up. Alright. Alright, now I gotta go underneath. It's gonna be really difficult to get them tight. I should have got lock washers or lock nuts. Oh, already lost one nut. Which I didn't need to do. Hold that still. I may have to get locked in, so I don't know. There's no way for me to hold this as I'm turning it. It's a two person job here, and I don't have another person. All right, here it is. I've just got to secure it down, and then hopefully, I have enough energy to go fishing. Whew. So, like I said, I put this on the back. From what I saw, people were talking about how it's easier to load it that way. I know some probably extend further out. I didn't want mine hanging all the way out. Plus, my kayak is probably going to hang a little further off the back anyway. So, it doesn't really matter, I guess. I'll probably get it lined up. This may help some with stability also if it's leaning and just kind of hanging right on the end like that. I'll glue up the ends. I'll glue these up and the caps. And then I'll glue up here. I don't think I need to glue anywhere else because the way the kayak will hold everything down except for gluing up the, the front here. And I don't even know if I need to glue up everything else down there. We're going to give it a dry run and see what happens. And I got to get all these, I got to get some bolts screwed in on each side, on every, every side. So here we go. All right, so I've cut some foam for one side. And I'm just going to glue it up. PVC glue. So just kind of round it. I don't do much more than one kind of brush thickness, so to speak. We should have done the other side after I pushed this one in. Because I can't I got to turn it. Supposed to turn a quarter turn when you do it with PVC, but we ain't running water through it. 
I can get this on before it dries. And I gotta get this one straight too before it. good so that's the process um, foam will go in the middle and then on the end already got it on the end I just got to glue it all right note to self and anyone else who cares uh, if you use some PVC glue and you decide for some reason to leave it like on top of the on top of what you're working on like I did you're gonna have a spill probably if you don't keep the cap on. So either keep the cap on it, you may not even be able to see it with all this sunlight on it, but there it is. So I wiped it up as best I could. You know, how do you pick up PVC glue? I don't know. It started taking some of my paint off, so I just quit. We'll just deal with it. All right, here it is. I'm gonna get some other straps. Um, not for holding the kayak down, but holding the pipe down. I forgot I can just get some inch and a half like electrical clamps or some pipe clamps and clamp on top of these and that'll help hold it steadier than what I've got it probably but for now this is what we got. Let's see what we can do. See if we can do this without knocking this over. I was really afraid it was going to collapse, <laughs> to be honest. 100%. I was afraid it was going to collapse. All right. My engineering worked so far. We'll see if it holds up on the trip. I think I'm going to go to station camp to the creek and fish. Haven't been there in a long time. Haven't been there in the outlaw. I got a little bit of time. I think I got enough. It's going to take me a half hour to get out there, but. All right, I'll probably pull it up a little bit further so it's not completely, I don't want it too close to the tongue, but, or the hitch. It's probably pretty close now. I'll strap it down, get after it. All right, so for now, this is probably the end of this video. Um, I don't know if this will be a one part or a two part. I don't know, I don't know how much I've actually done I um, have no idea how much video I've shot. So as soon as I know that, then we'll know if it's part one or part two. Hopefully it's just one video for you guys and you'll enjoy it. We'll see you out there on the water.